Having enjoyed our time in magical Lhasa, the crew and I hit the road. Our destination was Nam So Lake, but along the way we were held up by some yaks that were crossing the road. Lucky for them, they're cute. After a few hours of driving, we came across an extremely high mountain pass where we got to see our first collection of Tibetan prayer flags. Tibetans place these flags at very high points in the region in order to send their prayers up to heaven. It was pretty cold, so after a few quick photos, we continued on our way and eventually ended up at the camp of Namso Lake. Namso, which means heavenly lake in the Tibetan language, sits at 4,718 meters above sea level, giving it the title of the highest lake in the world. With still a few hours until sunset, we decided to take a walk along the shores of Namso Lake. Not only was the lake amazing, but seeing the mountain ranges in the distance added that extra touch. Selma and Esther thought this shot was too corny, but I made them film it anyways. Thanks, girls. Inside this mountain, we found a monastery, and with Sunam leading the forefront, we headed in to check it out. As always, the temple was full of color. This rock had a fantastic hole in it. And the statues were mesmerizing. Take a look at all the statues in this cabinet. We headed outside just in time for this monk to call for dinner. Heading back out to the shores of the lake, we came across some monks having their daily teachings underneath the shadow of the rocks. Listen as they chant their lessons of Buddhism. With all three of us being from countries where the climate at some points of the year is very cold, we were pretty excited to see some ice and snow. We took this opportunity to sit down and take it all in. Sunam, on the other hand, decided to do some readings on Tibetan Buddhism. We got restless pretty quickly and decided the only remedy was to get up and play in the ice. Brooks playing on the ice. Watch closely as Selma tries to take me out with a hunk of ice. <laughs> My heels are numb again. What? Oh my god, Selma! <laughs> Selma! Oh. oh. He's eating the ice. <laughs> As we continued our journey around the lake, we came across this beautiful eagle that was flying in circles, hunting for its prey. Scared we might actually be the prey, we decided to hide in one of these caves we found inside the rocks. They use chewing gum to put those papers on the wall. That's kind of gross. Yes. Those papers had prayers written on them. It is said that in the year of the sheep, if any traveler can circle the lake and Tashi Island once and Tuchun Island 12 times, they can acquire infinite merits and virtues, 
we unfortunately would not be doing this. However, we would be finding some more yaks. This one was my favorite, as he rolled around and scratched himself in the dirt. Sunam made a valiant effort to pet the yak. He was unsuccessful. Then, Selma gave it a try. I was up next, and even coming from a farm, I was a bit weary of those massive horns. Together, Selma and Sunam were able to capture the yak and pet him down. Eventually, we all joined in for a photo op, but this yak kept a close eye on what was happening. That's awesome. Uh, we're petting a yak. Yak, yak, yak. Yak, the yak. <laughs> Yes. We headed back to camp and came across this sign. It should say with, not without. As the sun began to set, the temperature began to drop. Thankfully, we had this yak dung stove to keep us warm. The selection for dinner was pretty grim, but we chowed down anyways and enjoyed almost every bite. My favorite part was when I discovered this in the menu. Red cow. It should be Red Bull. Welcome to our hotel at Dindamso Lake, highest lake in the world, in Tibet. Four beds. No heating, so we have not one, not two, but three blankets and some tea to keep us warm and a light that will turn off soon when they turn off the generator. It's going to be an awesome night. Be there. Disco. Disco. You can't really see much, actually. <laughs> disco party. Disco party. Sign of disco. <laughs> As quickly as nighttime came, so did the early morning. It's morning time in Nam, so like it's <laughs> freezing, and we're trying to get ready in the cold. <laughs> we said goodbye to our lovely host, and soon we're on the road again. Next time on Backpack with Brock. We check in to a yak tent, my most interesting hotel yet, which, coincidentally enough, was right at the base of Mount Everest, the highest point on Earth. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment, or you can subscribe by clicking on me. Right here. Thanks for watching.